In 2017, Daugopils Secondary School of Design and Arts Saula School celebrated its 100th anniversary. Everything began from needleworking courses. Today Saula School offers seven vocational training programs. Fashion design, interior design, graphic design, woodwork design, textile design, photo design and multimedia design. Children Art School is also operating at Saula School. After the school celebrated its sanctionary, the construction of its new training facilities had been initiated, what would definitely improve the educational environment and quality of teaching. While building works were going on, the school organized the International Creative Workshop, named Small Scale Urban Landscape Design, Recreation and Inspiration, within Interreg VA Latvia Lithuania program project Labor Market Without Borders. Our project is named Labor Market Without Borders or Mobility. It's focused on students of vocational schools of Latvia and Lithuania cross-border region and the opportunity to teach them new additional skills, either communication or professional to make them able to compete on cross-border labor market, to be employed in Latvia and Lithuania. This means the skills we teach in Latvian schools should answer the Lithuanian market demands. The idea is to ensure that schools in cross-border region provide more advanced training and support more competitive labor environment. Within the framework of the project there are planned a lot of activities like creative workshops, students and teachers study visits, educational exhibitions. The objective of the creative workshop Small Scale Urban Landscape Design Recreation Inspiration is to teach the students of vocational schools about urban landscape, the design of small scale architectural objects to provide the opportunity to students to try their hands in design. That's why they got a task to develop a landscape design for the inner yard of the Saulus School. Some participants of the workshop got practically stunned by the task. The reason is that they don't study design in their vocational schools. Their future professions are green planting, modeling of clothes or restaurant service. Considering this, the teachers of Saula School assisted all teams in completing the task. Actually, we are expecting to see students' ideas of school in their yard design. Our guests will participate in the implementation of their ideas creating the yard models. Our aim is to cooperate in creative work and get the final result. The purpose of our workshop is to teach the students to think creatively and sketch their ideas in order to make them implemented in the future. I have never had such a complicated task before and probably none from us is ready for such a difficult task. But we hope we will complete it. Everything will be okay. We will think through and do this. Personally, to me, the task seems to be clear. The teachers explained it very well. Today we have to develop the idea. To my mind, it is quite possible. We would like to make something very interesting. It uh, looks really hard because we are new uh, students in this, so it's really hard for us. We are participating in the fourth event within this project. We are for the first time in Saulus School. We like it very much. There is just an agricultural school in our town. The task we have got is a little bit confusing to us, but we will do it. This is a great way to express my creativity, my crazy creative ideas. I like this school very much. Her everything is so refined and modern. Premises are designed in minimalistic style, what I like very much. In order to feel the atmosphere of the city where Saula School is situated, the participants were proposed to have a short walking tour. They visited the park and relaxation area in the city center and then began the task completion. The teams were given three days for working out the idea and creating the model. The students had a wide choice of materials – paper, cardboard, wood, plastics. They measured, drew, calculated, cut, sewed and glued. I was surprised by the result, it's unexpectedly good, considering that some of them had their first experience of work with paper and other materials, and the results are done on the very professional level. There is something in each idea what I liked very much. Some of them could be combined together and could make a really interesting design project. 
They get the experience of development of the project through modeling. It is a great value, the work process. I was happy to work together with them and see the students in creative work. At the beginning some of them were worrying very much, but later they overcame their fears. They got mobilized and began to express their ideas and then to work with materials. We wanted to develop a kind of light object, which would light in night and in day. There should be a logo of Saulus Scuola inside, made from reflective material and painted over in gold. When sun shines, the sun puddles will dance and this would be a beautiful effect. But at night the light would shine from below and would illuminate the logo. We proposed to locate benches around it, very minimalistic and quadratic. It could be a composition solution with geometric shapes. We think that it would be a perfect place to build a resort for students and the teachers, so they can just relax and have a great time. And um, of course there can be more than one of this resort, but we have just one model. So. The walls, these walls could be decorated with bright or abstract um, or just advertising um, drawings, so it looks like one big advertisement. Uh, or um, pictures that just can be with the uh, school's uh, moments, something like this. And we think that. Uh, Planting some trees or flowers so school uh, would be look more uh, pleasuring and natural. We have decided to make quite simple shapes and all purpose objects. Anyone may sit on them and to park the bike. You may see here how to locate the bike, it is shown here. We had an idea that Daugava is not far from here. But roads and our everyday rush hides Daugava and it is not seen from school. That's why we have to introduce Rivers Wave to the schoolyard. My team and me made a model of school inner yard. This is an apple that is cut in half. It should be made from metal and glass in order to be transparent. There should be benches and flowers inside. When winter comes, the apple may be decorated with Christmas toys or painted like Christmas tree. The idea of this model is pavilion. During warm season it may be used for relaxation and for preparation of homeworks, for lunches in the free time. Her or students may exhibit their works, painting and some drawings. It was very difficult to deal with dimensions, very hard to get angles and cut all this stuff, but we have done it. Our project name is uh, life circle, yet another sun circle. Uh, this school is sun school, so we got an idea that uh, in our project have to be a movement and a circle that remains the sun uh, and moon. All life is moving by circle. The circle turns around and everything starts from the beginning. Um, changes people, seasons and our lives. Changes students' specialties just started to study and are already finishing. Uh, and again, everything starts from the beginning. At the end of creative workshop there was presentation of models. Chef City Artists, City Landscape Architect, School Administration and teachers were invited to it. All the participants were awarded by jury with gratitude gifts. But the best design award went to team of Balvi Secondary and Professional School. In general, I think it is a very interesting project. It is wonderful that students had a chance to create their own ideas and they use not paper only, but to make a real small model. This is practically the first step towards the implementation of the project. To my mind, all the design works are very interesting, they presented different visions. I'd like to say a couple of words about the best award. 
I liked especially that students not Protection only filled the entire space of the yard, but got inspired by our city. They understood that Daugava is a great value to us and reflected it in their work. I think that it's a very amazing task and all teams completed it successfully, proposing so interesting solutions that were even unexpected for us. Now we have six wonderful design ideas that could be improved perfected and practically realized in time with completion of school construction works. All the participants of the creative workshop, small-scale urban landscape design, recreation and inspiration got the certificates of attendance which were specially designed by the project hosts.